Today, we're gonna be making art out of sand. We're on the beach, so we have lots of sand to use, and whoever has the best sand art after six hours wins up to $5,000 for a subscriber. Let's go! And whoever wins this challenge gets $1,000 worth of seafood. Time starts now. So everyone has basic tools. They have a shovel, buckets and toys. Look at all of this art supplies I have to use. We just saw real dolphins out in the open and I almost started crying, it was so cool. Hey everyone, gather in real quick. So the last person who brings me a seashell gets ocean water dumped on them. <laughs> Wait, what? Already? Oh, okay. Hey, we already got two over here. Okay, nice. Yes. I think I got it. Okay, you got it. Technically, that counts. Yes. Izzy brought me a tiny shell. Oh. Let me see it. Let me see it. All right. All right. Ben, what happened? I found a bottle cap. Michelle, come over here. Look what I got you. I got you seashells. Thank you. All right, Ben, come over here. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 All right, everyone, get back to work. Gabe, who do you think is gonna win this challenge? I got my bet on Viv. If you're correct, I'll give you five hundred dollars. But in the meantime, come over here. All right, I'm gonna start digging a hole over here because it's for punishment later on in the video. I'm gonna start digging. Jake, if you're watching this, I'm yeah. sorry Zach told me to do this, but I'm about to fill up a bucket with sand for Guys, I want to see really big sand art for this challenge. Size does matter. This is my hole so far. I'm not sure why I'm having so much fun digging this hole. But one of the contestants is going to get buried alive in just a little bit, which should be pretty funny. I thought you liked worms. I hate worms. I'm a passion. I hope they all die. <laughs> I swear if that was a worm, you're dead. Jake, what's the plan? I'm making a butterfly. I don't think it's what you have in mind. The plan is to make a lot of big structures. Gabe, do you have any tips for her? You have six hours. Make it super huge. I will do that. I'm going to build a rhinoceros. I want to make like a giant dragon guarding Ooh. a sand. Okay. Board. I'm gonna do like a mermaid lay, like leaning against some rocks. So I'm gonna make a huge hole and I'm gonna have like a staircase made out of sand and everything. We have two towers and a bridge connecting, but that's only if I can get the stupid sand out of this bucket. <laughs> Looks like you're in trouble, Ben. All right, they're about to get another challenge in just a second. All right, artists, you have 10 minutes to build a sand castle. Whoever builds the best one gets an advantage. Go! Ooh. Ooh. Hey! You get a really big advantage. Jake looks like he's struggling. He doesn't have much down yet. Shoot, it keeps falling. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop building. All right, Jake, let's look at yours. We have the world's most exquisite sand castle. Jake, Jake, I don't think you're winning this challenge. Ben, it looks like a big boo. Ooh. It's like a big tower with stairs going up to each room. That's not too bad. Probably the best one I've seen so far. Hey, it looks like there's a face in there. Yeah. Kind of... Oh. Ooh, Mackenzie. This one's good. This is my space. See. I don't think. It doesn't look like they're buildings. It looks like a giant mud mound. In my opinion, I think Mackenzie had the best one. Mackenzie, you don't just get an advantage. You're not getting two advantages. You're getting three. First one, give this to someone and take their shovel for an hour. Right now? Yeah. Okay, go. Mackenzie, you're welcome. One of the contestants will be wearing a seaweed necklace for the rest of the <laughs> challenge. Unfortunately, that stays on for the rest of the challenge. I will remember this. Choose one person and make them dig a hole for 30 minutes. Jake! <laughs> All right, Jake, for the next 30 minutes, 
You're digging this hole, you have to make it as deep as possible. How's it going, Izzy? Okay, so it's I don't know, it's hole. taking kind of a while yeah, with this little but pink shovel. Izzy, you can stop using your tiny shovel. <laughs> Jazz, you made such a big booty. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, I'm gonna make my mermaid thick. Oh my goodness, that's like rounded turkey. <laughs> Jake, you may stop digging. Yes! So the butterfly is not working out. Now I gotta think of something else because I'm having a hard time over here. New challenge! Everyone grab your shovel and come with me. You guys will be digging holes! You have three minutes to dig a hole. Whoever has the most shallow hole in three minutes gets buried alive! Alright, go, start. These holes are looking pretty good. Michelle's hole looks pretty wide. Guys, hurry up! Five, Five <laughs> four, three, two, one! What the <laughs> Yeah, we're hey, not it. I'm gonna stick this shovel into Jake's hole. <laughs> All right, it goes to around Whoa. here. Hole. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jess, your hole's so deep. All right, here's up to here. Jess still has the deepest hole right now. Mackenzie! 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 <laughs> Alright, Mackenzie, come with us! Mackenzie, get in that hole! <laughs> Bro, I can't stay like this! Hurry up and just shove it All right. in! <laughs> Alright, Mackenzie, get lower! Oh. Wow! Okay, yep, I think that's good, guys! Jake, don't do that! I'm dancing on Mackenzie's Jake! Jake! You're gonna be here for the next 30 minutes! Alright, guys, get back to work! Nothing to see here! Mackenzie, do you want to guess how much time has passed? 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. You can get out. Oh, I really can't. You guys buried me deep. All right, three, two, one, go. Stand up. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yay. All right, Mackenzie's free. What's the plan for the next few hours? You have around three hours left. I'm going to make a really good, a hopefully really good uh, frog head. I might extend the skeleton and, or I might just add some like cool designs on the side, like maybe some flowers. My goal right now is to make it as tall as possible. Michelle, what do you have? I just see a hole. Stop! It's not just a hole, it's a cat. I went ahead and like got wet sand to build with because I see that everybody's like trying to build with dry sand but it doesn't uh -huh. stay as long. This is gonna be a castle so right now it's just a pile of sand. All right, artists stand in a circle. We're gonna go one person at a time. The lowest scorers will get punished. You have to bounce it as many times as you can oh, like that. God. Mackenzie, starting with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for Mackenzie. One, two, three, four. Four for Michelle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very nice, Viv. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> Michelle and Jazz, you get a small bucket of ocean water. Izzy, you get the big one. All right, Jazz, you and Michelle share one bucket. All right, All right Izzy, we're gonna throw it on three. Three. <laughs> one gets dunked in water, the best one gets a secret advantage. 10 minutes starts now. Jake keeps making frogs, I don't know why. They're green and they're cool. Mother no! Nature hates me. Ah, oh, come no! on. 
All right, so what would you guys give this out of 10? I'd give it Seven, nine. 7.5. 7.5? 8.5. 8.5? 7. 7? 7. I'd what? give it a 6. This one's six. so good! 6. I'd say 9. 9. 8.5. I'd say 7.5. I'd say 7. Do you think Ben won, correct? Yeah. 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 Right. I want each one of you to fill your bucket up with water. Oh, oh. All right, surrounder on three. You guys are all going to drench her. <laughs> three, two, one, go! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, guys. All right, Ben, Michelle got a lot of water dumped on her. You can take one of the buckets, fill it up with water, and pour it on someone's art. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. Yeet! Oh, help! Mackenzie! Suck it. What a bummer. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my Now we have another challenge, but we're gonna do something nice for this beach while we're at it. You guys will be picking up trash for five minutes. Whoever brings me the least amount of trash has to pick up trash for another 30 minutes. Oh, Go! Which is basically trash, trash. I'm seeing no trash. The beach is pretty clean. I feel like I already got a lot of trash. I see some trash over here. Hey, Michelle, you're not allowed to take things out of the trash can. All right, let's see everyone's trash. This Very is the good. finest, the finest trash. Izzy, where'd you get so much? I'm a scavenger. Uh, Jake, let. Oh. There's a lot of pieces. Uh, I don't think Very good, know Ben. All right. I Michelle. Of, I got a lot of mini items. Michelle. I got a what lot of this? mini items, OK? What is this? Mackenzie, a piece of wood is not trash. <laughs> All right, everyone, go throw away your trash, except for Michelle. Michelle, you said you like cleaning up the beach, so I do. your job is to make this beach squeaky clean for the next 30 minutes. Sounds good. All right, Izzy, so I believe you picked up the most trash out of anyone. I want to reward that behavior. This is yours. Oh, I got my own big shovel! No, 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 no. You get to scoop a huge chunk out of anyone's art. Stop. I know Rhino's art endangered, but... <laughs> oh, come on! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One, everyone, time is on. All right, let's start over there with Jake. So I made a frog and it has a party hat. I actually mined some, some darker sand and I made that into the pupils. Jake, I must say, your forms are very nice. It's very smooth. My goal is to make it really clean. It is really clean. It also looks really scary. I made a demon skeleton coming from the ground. Here's a skull, got some horns coming out. And this is pretty much the rib cage area. We have one arm right here. The rib cage is probably my favorite part. That's really cool. So I wanted to make big structures, so I made big structures. It turned into a castle. I have a bridge that goes into the main entrance. I have many windows and I have stairs. Very cool. I, I actually really like the brick designs over there. That's a soccer ball for my soccer stadium. I like how you use those plastic thingies for the goals. The bottom looks like a giant Pokemon ball. I made a big rhino. So this represents the rhino's struggle coming out of the sand. It represents the rhino's struggle to come back from being almost extinct because they're very endangered animals. I like the body and form of the rhino. I feel like overall you executed the form. This is my mermaid princess. I gave her a little seaweed sash. I used the materials of the beach. You know, I gave her some seaweed hair. Very nice job. I, I would say this is one of your better pieces. So I made a dragon. Uh, I initially wanted to, you know, make it defending a castle, but the castle was just not holding up. So instead I made it a mama dragon defending her eggs. I especially love the head. I, I would say the structures, the form is incredible. Mackenzie, she take notes. She used rocks, she used rocks as the eyes. All right, we have a lot of really nice pieces, but unfortunately we can only have one winner. So as much as I hate to do it, we're gonna have to start eliminating one person at a time. Michelle, yes. I admire the effort, <laughs> but you're eliminated. Yeah. Ben, very nice piece, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to eliminate you. I'm sorry, Ben. Jake, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate you and your frog. Well fought. 
Jazz, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate your mermaid. I thought it looked really nice, but there are just too many good pieces today. All right, Mackenzie, you're eliminated. I am sorry. Beautiful rhino, but I don't think you made the cut. Okay. And our winner, I'm gonna have to go with Izzy. <laughs> good job. Yay! Izzy, you have $1,000 to get as much seafood as you want. Well, I can't eat all that seafood by myself. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sushi, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets sushi. Well, that's very nice of you, Izzy. Good job. Yeah. And for the rest of you. Yeah. So I'll show you guys right away, just once the tide goes down, everyone lays down, pin your nose, have it crash out, and everyone run back. Alright, let's go, let's go! Wait, what? Wait, what? Where? where are we going to? Alright, right here. Right here. Right 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 go! Go, lay down! Oh. <laughs> Izzy, what are we doing right now? Today we have four artists. You have a mystery item under your plate. Go ahead and lift it up. What the heck? Oh, this looks like a nose trimmer. <laughs> this is a 3D pen. And this is what you're gonna put in your 3D pen. Whoa, whoa. You have seven hours to make a piece of art using your 3D pen. Whoever has the best one wins five grand. What? what? Go! What? Oh my gosh! You will be splitting it with a subscriber I'm gonna pair you with in a little bit. I personally have no idea how to use it, so here's an instruction manual. Don't touch the tip, it's hot. Mackenzie, I just said don't touch the tip. What are you gonna be making for your piece of art? I have no idea yet, but I just made my name. What are you gonna make? I'm going to make a Minecraft creeper. I've decided that I'm going to make a dragon. I'm gonna be doing a spider. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this little mini chameleon. You know what, we're gonna make this very interesting. I'm gonna let you guys choose who you think will win. If that person wins, I'll give you an extra hundred dollars. Nice. Jess, who do you think will win? Why you to do me like that? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Michelle, who do you think will win? You can bet on yourself if you want. I do my time. Jake, how about you? Jazz is gonna win. Based off of analytics and statistics, so I'm just gonna say Jake. All right. <laughs> Just on statistics, clear, not they, on this, any of my abilities. No. Also, I'm about to pair you guys up with a subscriber right now. What's gonna happen is you'll be competing for the subscriber, but for some incentive, if you win, I'll give you $500, and the rest of the money will go to the subscriber. Sounds good. Artists, one more thing. If you don't win, you go for a swim. Everyone, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna be pairing you up with a subscriber. Yeah! We're doing ZHC crafts right now, and it's really hard, but I'm trying, I'm trying my best. If I win this challenge, you can win up to $5,000. Do you have any advice for me? Well, you can do a creeper. So yeah. I'm actually gonna start with like a spider web and a spider, you know, something simple. Do you have any words of wisdom for me, like tips or anything? Pick like warm or cool color. If I win, I have the chance to win up to $5,000 for you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> make, it, make it outside the box. Everyone, give me a number from one through 10. Five, six, three, three, two. All right, so the number you said 
is how many times they're gonna roll this exercise ball. Oh! Well, let's just do whatever you got times five. <laughs> Jess, so you have 125 push-ups to do. <laughs> Michelle, roll it. <laughs> Michelle, you have 120 jumping squats. All right, Jake, yes, 60 jumping jacks. No, not burpees! Oh, 40 burpees with a push-up. Keep yeah. that in mind, Mackenzie. Oh. Yeah. Give me all the kids, get doing the burpees, give me all. attempt to make Grogu's face. Hey Jay, what part of Baby Yoda is that? His name's Grogu, but it's gonna be the head, hopefully. First person to make a cube gets to break a piece off of anyone's art and add it to their own. Go! Okay, it needs to be a new one. So Jazz, congrats, you win this mini challenge. <laughs> so as you can see, they're finally settling in and learning how to use their 3D pens. Even Jake. What? Now, we are gonna play a simple game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh. And if you lose, you have to use your left hand. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! Shoot! Ooh! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's been around 30 minutes. Jazz, play me again in rock, paper, scissors. If you win, you get to go back to using your right hand. If you don't win, you're stuck with it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! All in all, I think they're doing okay. I'm just not sure if they're gonna have enough time to finish. But, yeah, we'll see. We have some fun challenges coming up. Time for a mini challenge. Roll to see what you have to do and multiply it by one. 20 jumping squats. 20 times four, 80 burpees. Oh! Eight minutes of length says nothing. Mackenzie, you have 75 crunches. Jake, Jess, are you too tired of using your left hand yet? All right, so you can stop. If you beat me in this game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh my. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Currently 2 a.m. Michelle and I are still up. Yes, I am done. With Mr. Bacon. Ugh. We're cutting into it. Uh, so tiny. I did all of this for nothing. <laughs> Rock into the yeah. Rock into the yeah. So I'm back. It's 7:51 in the morning. I just made Grogu's little chip. So he's gonna be in there. She's been up since four o'clock in the morning and she got up and started working at what, six? And oh. this is all I've gotten done. Eight o'clock in the morning and I'm still working on my little chameleon and he's looking a little lonely so I'm gonna put this by next to him. All right, so as you guys know, it's the next morning. You guys have five minutes left. <laughs> Jake, it looks like you still have a lot to do in this basket. Grogu, like, flies around. Ooh. Oh, very impressive, Mackenzie. Oh my goodness, you chopped your dragon. Yeah. What happened? Well, ah! So my prediction was that Mackenzie's was gonna look really, really good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Good job, everyone. All right, so I think it looks really, really cool. I like how it's interacting with its environment. I would say, however, would have been kind of cool to see a little cricket over here or a fly. Very impressed with your creeper. I can't believe you made an entire barn. That is, that is really good. And then you have these little blocks. Good job. Yay! So I really like the attention to detail, especially the pinks in the face, the cheeks especially. Good job, Jake. And finally, Mackenzie. Definitely a lot of attention to detail. Has a tongue in here, that is very cool. I like, I like how you have a lot of different colors on here. You have spikes. Great job. But with that being said, only one of you will win. Before I start eliminating people, Jake, yours is the only one that isn't complete. I'm sorry, Jake. Unfortunately, I feel like compared to the other contestants, yours had a little less volume, a little more see-through, you are eliminated. And this is actually kind of interesting. Michelle, you placed your bet on Mackenzie, so either way, you're getting money. It's a win-win for me. <laughs> Mackenzie, who did you bet on? I bet on Jake. Ooh. Since this is a very close matchup, I'm gonna let my subscribers choose. Yeah! The results are in. I feel bad, I wish both of you could win, but the winner is... Any guesses? Oh, oh, Mackenzie! Oh! Now what happens is get to play me, rock, paper, scissors. You have five tries, each time you win, you win $1,000 for your subscriber. You are playing for Ivy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah! That is $1,000 for Ivy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, shoot, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! Mackenzie, you tied all the other ones. So I won you $1,000, but then Zach also said that I could give my $500 to you. You're going to win $1,500. <laughs> oh yeah, you're welcome. I bought 10,000 sheets of colored paper to make origami. We have six artists and 10,000 sheets of paper. You will all have six hours to make the best origami art piece. Winner wins up to five grand for a subscriber. Yeah. And as usual, I'll toss in $500 to whoever wins this. Also, losers go in a slime bath. Whoa. You have six hours, go! At this time, I'm gonna color blue because it seems like most of the winners have been using the color blue to win. What, what does that even mean? Today, we're doing things a little different. You're gonna choose a random topic that your competitors came up with. Dinosaur! Ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. Dragon? <laughs> yeah. Zoo? All right. All right, Viv got a dragon, which means, Michelle, you have to make a robot. You can thank Izzy. The winner of the origami challenge can win up to $5,000 for their subscribers. So I'm going to be making a dragon. I don't know, a dragon seems pretty hot. Do you have any words of encouragement for me or anything? You should win. <laughs> <laughs> I have the okay. chance to win up to $5,000 for you. I'm currently making a robot dragon. Okay. Honestly, I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> I have all my faith in you. Please Thank you. Win. I'm Jess. Nice to meet you. Have any advice on animals I should make? A frog? Ooh, a frog. That would be a good idea. The first person to fold a paper crane will get this. Anytime during this challenge, you are allowed to make one cut in someone's origami piece. <laughs> everyone ready? Go! Come on, everyone. Make that paper crane. Once you're done with your crane, lift it up in the air and I'll come check it. This paper's not steady. Yeah, why is this paper like... Izzy has no idea what she's doing. I feel like this is a battle between Michelle and Viv. You guys are getting very close. Ooh, Mackenzie's finally getting somewhere. Great! What? Oh my goodness, Michelle! Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? What? This makes no sense. 
Michelle! Michelle! This is Jake's piece of paper! Stop roasting me! <laughs> well, Michelle, this is for you to use. If you notice anyone's piece of art and you think they're gonna be one of your big competitors, you can go ahead, snip that entire thing in half. What? I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go play some video games. What? Michelle's getting a little too confident. <laughs> Mackenzie, you've won a lot of crafts challenges, but if you keep going at this pace, it's not looking very good. This is a lot more frustrating than it looks, okay? <laughs> Alright, Michelle, I see you're finally back from gaming. Everyone looks like they still haven't done anything. <laughs> it looks like some of you are still trying to get the hang of folding, so I'm gonna add two hours to the time. You guys get eight hours total. Artists, yes. fold a paper airplane. Everyone, come with me. Whichever one of you throws your paper airplane the farthest gets a huge advantage. Hopefully I set the bar high for everyone. Fire in the hole! Whee! No, no! Oh. Go! Whoa! Oh. Not quite. Izzy, since you won the paper airplane competition, you can choose one of the artists and add them to your roster for 30 minutes. Ooh. Which artist do you think can help you the most? Viv. All right, Viv, for the next 30 minutes, you're working for Izzy. Good to work. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Where are made in the world a year? Ooh, two billion. Thirty trillion. A hundred fifty One Google. <laughs> okay. Four trillion. Fifty trillion. Alright, the answer is sixty trillion. Ah! Viv, wait right there. Make someone wear this for the rest of the challenge. You can let anyone wear this. <laughs> oh god. You know what? You're getting karma. Oh, oh, this is getting back at her boss. Right. <laughs> Izzy, you can't take this costume off until the end of the challenge. Wait, I can't take them. Now. So we're gonna play another little game. Each one of you guys are gonna crumple up one sheet of paper into a ball, and whoever throws it the farthest gets to choose whose piece of art gets dunked in water. Crumple up a sheet of paper and come upstairs. Oh! oh. No, what? <laughs> Go, Jake! Oh. Oh. I knew I was gonna hit the Jake hit the chandelier! All right, Viv, since you won, here is a cup full of water. All right, Viv, grab that and bring it to the sink. Oh! You could set them outside to dry in the sun. Jazz adopted your dinosaur. This is a fortune teller. What's inside could be good or bad. Who wants to find out first? Me. Choose a number. Seven. You're all no more here. P U R T L E. <laughs> 100 push ups. <gasps> you have to make someone do 50 push ups. No. <laughs> you have to do 10 laps okay. around the house. You have 100 push ups. B L U E. One, two. You need to make 100 <laughs> shots. <laughs> All right, everyone, get to your tasks. Viv chose me to do 50 more push-ups. All right, let's do it. Spray someone's art. Jake's watering the plants. 
<laughs> is this an aquatic creature without water? <laughs> yeah! You didn't, you didn't see that one. Oh yeah, let's go. What's this? Go. All right, I'm all done. You've got to be kidding me. I knew this was going to happen too. Hey, Mackenzie, you should just search for Jake. He's hiding. No, I'll let that little coward come to me. Jake? Hey, Mackenzie, not on any electronics. No electronics. Jake, this isn't fair. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is the shining. Oh, he attacked my penguin. penguin down. You said you wanted to use your scissors? Hey, it will cut through. Oh! <laughs> my spider's dead. Everyone, we are down to our last hour. So I'm adding some fire to my dragon because it felt a little empty. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands in the air. The challenge is officially over. Good job, everyone. Izzy, tell me about your origami art. All right, so I got to do a dragon. Crazy, colorful, kind of Chinese New Year's dragon. Just personally, I probably would have liked the color scheme a little bit better if it was more of a pattern to it rather than random colors, but overall, good piece. I have a dino diorama. I do like the creativity with the dinosaur from the egg. Tape in the bottom of the trees kind of makes it look a little bit messy. So for seven hours, I made this super extreme, super crazy 99% of people can't do an origami spider. <laughs> Michelle chopped its legs off, so I had to improvise, and I made a giant crane attacking it. Why is there a random piece of red paper underneath? I did a little ice robot panda holding a little robot, and I gave him a little bamboo. But robots don't eat. Oh. <laughs> you took out its arm! <laughs> I made a big dragon, and I made two baby dragons. It's pretty similar to Izzy's, except for I feel like you have a color scheme here, which I do like. All right, Jazz, tell me about your zoo. These are all the zoo animals hanging out, having a little party. This is Ellie, this is Sparky, this is Thomas, that's Wanda. Is that Maverick? No. <laughs> we need to start eliminating them one at a time. Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next person to go, unfortunately, Jake, <laughs> Michelle, they didn't make it. The next person that's getting eliminated is Jazz. All right, and keep in mind, this is just my opinion, but the official winner is Viv. <laughs> Viv, you have five free throws. Each time you make a free throw, your subscriber gets $1,000. Last shot. Oh! Well, Viv, you won $2,000 for the subscriber that you were paired up with. Yes! That gave me five chances to shoot the basketballs and the hoop. I was able to score two, which means you just won $2,000. Yeah! All right, start dumping. Oh, Viv, you completely missed. 